Remember this super easy platforming script we made last tutorial? Well, we're gonna convert this into a moving platformer. Oh, and one thing, this is based on the last video. So if you haven't seen that, it'll be linked in the description. All right, let's get started. So this is our player. Let's first, because this is gonna be a scrolling platformer, let's delete these walls and leave these things over here and maybe even make one more costume. All right, now in Bob, we're not gonna wanna change his X anymore, but a scroll X. So let's make a variable called scroll X. And we're gonna set scroll X to, uh, we'll just leave, let it be at zero right now. And um, we will change the scroll X by, um, we have negative five. And it's, it, we're gonna just replace the change X with these scroll X's. So we'll take this out, put that over here, and then this in there. And the same for this one. All right, and there is one more thing. Just uh, take this costume block and put it there once, once more. Right after, right after we change it, because sometimes it might get a bit buggy, but normally it should be fine. And now let's go to level. And for the level, we are gonna. Take a when flag pressed. We're gonna go to zero, go to x zero and y zero, and get it out of forever and set the x to scroll x. And as you can see, he can jump, but um, if this doesn't happen for you, that's fine. If he can go through fall through walls, then we're gonna fix that uh, really soon. And as you can see, um, he's going the opposite direction. Like if I'm pressing the left arrow, he goes right. And if I'm pressing the right arrow, he goes left. So just swap these out. And now he should be working pretty fine. Also set his X to something like minus 100. So he's not. That seems fine, yeah. Or minus 75. This se that seems about right. And let's set the scroll X to zero. So he restarts over there. Actually, that's not good. Minus 50. No. Mm, 75, maybe. 100, let's see that. Yeah, 100 is good. And... If he still goes, oh, if he goes up on the wall, you're gonna wanna take this hitbox, the right hitbox, and move it a few times to the right, and the same with the left one. And if it still works, you can even make it a bit thicker. And that should fix the problem. All right, and now, how do we have multiple um, platforms or levels one after the other? Well, you're gonna wanna take another when flag pressed. And now we're gonna, we're gonna take a create clone of myself. 
and let's we have one costume let's make a let's i'll make one more just to um represent something uh more levels let's just do this and um let's make a variable called clone number and based on this we're based on the clone number we can make the platform be over here or over there and now that we have that let's set the clone number to one um switch the costume to costume two and repeat like if i have three i'll do it two times or maybe once uh, we're gonna repeat it two times next costume we're gonna change the clone number by one and wait zero seconds and now make a new variable called clone id for this sprite only very important and have a uh, when i start as clone forever let's take set clone id to clone number so the clone number will change but the clone id will stay the same once it's been created and let's set the x to scroll x plus we know that this screen is about 240 pixels so i'm just gonna do 245 because i saw that this number works best and multiply that by the clone id and so it'll be like this and now as you can see this is the first level this is our second level and here is our third level and they're all working just fine and now what if we want to have spikes just duplicate the level and make a new variable called um yes i don't know spike clone number and we're gonna swap clone number by spike clone num and with clone id let's make a new one called spike clone id again for this sprite only and we're gonna swap that um clone id for spike clone id and now that we have this it should be over here let's rename this to spike and now what you're gonna want to do is draw a spike draw some spikes Let's say I want some spikes over here. And two over here. And some over here. and yeah and then what you're gonna want to do is delete the level we only want the spikes to be there 
like so. I'm gonna make these black because you might confuse them with the spikes. And now you can see the spikes are there. But you don't die, you don't die if you hit them. So let's have, let's bring out a when flag pressed forever. If we're touching a spike, then we're gonna set the scroll X to a hundred and let's go back to the starting position which was this oh, I'm just gonna make the Y zero so we start and now if I hit the spike I'll go back to the beginning Okay, so as you can see, the spike is there. I'll be covering how to make it, um, how to hide it in the next tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and if we get this video to 15 likes, I'll make part two.